Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It's Sunday, 29th of May, I think. Getting towards the end of the month of May. Boy, the year is flying by. Today's video is a bit of an update of my yarn adventures for the past week or so. So I have some finished objects, just for the fun of it. Some finished objects for the cows that I've entered into. A bit of an acquisition and a bit of yarn chat. So let's get started. We'll start with the cows. First one up is the Tunisian crochet square cow that with Jada in stitches. So for the month of May, it was the um, knit stitch. Now, before I show you, I have blocked this once, but it needs blocking again. Because as Jada says, when you finish it, it turns out like a little burrito. And mine keeps wanting to be a burrito, even after blocking it. See, it was like that when I finished. So it's getting better. But there you go. My Tunisian knit stitch for May for, um, with Jada in stitches. This is just um, Spotlight Super Saver yarn in mint and petrol on the edging. Cow number one finished. Cow number two, I really do enjoy... Um, Zeta's calendar cow because it inspires you to be creative. Um, the month of May's picture was Barbara, a loyal, lovely subscriber and friend. Hi, Barbara. It was a picture of Barbara at the beach in a beautifully bright colored top she'd crocheted, which I think was in Red Heart Yarn. I can't get Red Heart Yarn here um, down under unless I order it and it comes from overseas. I can't get it at the drop of a hat. So I had to put my creative thinking cap on and see what I could come up with. And what I decided to do was inspired by the fact that Barbara lives on a sailboat. So are you ready for it? I made a nautical tea cozy. Ta-da! It's knitted. This is Vanna's Choice yarn that's been in my yarn stock for a very long time, at least three years. The white and red are the um, Spotlight Saver yarns. But there you have it. I made a knitted tea cozy. It has a rolled bottom, so um, you can roll it up like that to fit the sides of your teapot. But I thought that was um, turned out really well because the pattern... I've decided I'm using patterns in my stitch library and 20 to knit easy tea cozies. So um, somewhere in here, because I had it marked, but yes, rest assured I've just messed it up, is the nautical tea cozy. That was the pattern I followed. So I don't think I did too bad a job. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And yes, it reminds me of Barbara on her sailboat. May's calendar cow. So they are the only two cows I worked on this month, having finished the luck of the draw five to the Latgan size I wanted. Amigurumi Wars, um, I've lost my Amigurumi mojo. I couldn't get inspired by any of the patterns chosen. So I decided I wasn't going to do one for this month. I'd give have a bit of a break from it but hopefully in June the patterns will inspire me and I'll make something for Amigurumi Wars. So let's move along to acquisitions. So my acquisition is a bit different it's just something I wanted to share with you. I had a couple come into my office and donate some money to Emma's Quest and they gave me some pillowcases for Emma that they had bought from another fundraiser and wanted to share. And they were telling me about it and I thought, oh wow. And I got a line and of course bought two pillowcases. So I have opened the parcel that's arrived for all the crinkling and I mainly because I wanted to show you. So it is called Monster Smiles. Now it's a young guy He's either 13 or 15, he's a teenager and he has Crohn's disease. And when he had to go in hospital all the time, he really did not like the pillowcases they gave you to sleep on. 
and he now makes pillowcases or gets them made for charity. You can buy them, they're about $19 Australian each with free delivery, or you can donate a couple to different hospitals. But I thought it was an awesome fundraiser, and it turns out he um, resides in WA, not far from where we used to own a house and live. So they are called Monster Smiles. This is the traditional and original pillowcase with monsters on. This is one I have bought for a little friend as a gift. And I bought one for myself. I keep a pillow in um, for when I'm crocheting in the lounge room late at night or I just want to lay down and rest. And I bought this one. Dogs. Lots of dogs in the colours that match my lounge room. It is oh, amazingly soft fabric. I have no idea where he gets the fabric from. But, oh, it is beautiful. They are beautiful pillowcases. And he has been an inspiration to me. Now, the other thing that came with it was, which was a surprise, a beautiful pen with monstersmiles.com on it. There's a Facebook link page. I'll put it in the description below so you can check out Monster Smiles. And if you're in Australia, you might want a beautiful soft pillowcase. There's different patterns. I love the dogs and I wanted the original one for a friend. So I've been working on other finished objects. I told you I made one slatch beanie which um, sold within, I don't know, three or four days of going in my Etsy shop. And I was making another one uh, because I had been sorting out my yarn stock and I had fisherman's wool left from Lion Brown that I wanted to use up because that particular pattern of slatch beanie is popular in the fisherman's wool. So I've made another one. There he is. Unisex. It's quite a large slouch and the large brim at the top here. And people do really like this one. Um, I don't think I've put it in the Etsy shop yet. I may have. The other thing I've made is I am doing for Wacky Make Do Make Along. We did celebrate International Tea Day and made a mini make-along for you guys to join in. Um, there are some random prizes of pattern drawers and it closes on the 4th of June and the pattern drawers will be on the 5th of June. Now, you, all you had to do was make a mug cosy or a tea cosy or a cup cosy, a glass cosy, can cosy, tissue box cover, in scrap yarn and then post pictures or send the pictures to me. Up above here somewhere will be a link to that video. Check it out. There's still plenty of time to join. I decided I would make a tea cozy to celebrate International Tea Day and my mini make along for my subscribers. And here it is. Now, it is, and it started on the 27th of May, Reconciliation Week where we remember, celebrate everything to do with Aboriginal culture. And I made it in the colours of the Aboriginal flag. It's the Jacob's Ladder tea cosy that I haven't made for years and was inspired by a subscriber in the Facebook group to make because she made one. And I put a flower on top. There you have it. The funny thing is, when I showed Reeves the finished project, he goes, Oh, you made a tea cosy in Adelaide Crows colours. That's the football team from South Australia. Typical male, always thinking about sport. But yes, I really like this for my mini make-along, um, the witch's brew. But I also like the Jacob's Ladder and I also like the colours. We weren't allowed to do things with the Ab Aboriginal flag colours because it was heavily copyrighted. And last year the government bought the copyright and now we can. So there you go. It, Reconciliation Week with my mini make-along and Jacob's Ladder Tea Cozy. I'll show you the pattern that I use. The pattern is by Yarn Inspirations. Now they do it in cotton and I do it slightly different to them because their hibiscus flower is loose on top and I attach my flower. I just dropped something Oh, 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 I think I broke my clicker. So that's 
what I made with the cowls and different make-alongs I'm doing. Now, my rookie knitting mistake. So I'm knitting my first knitted wearable and I thought, you know, I'm a pretty good knitter. It shouldn't be too hard. But I made the worst rookie knitter mistake. I didn't keep checking my stitch count. This will be frogged by thing later. I got to a point where I thought I'll check it and realised this little bit is, 20, um, is seven stitches out to this little bit. And the middle bit isn't right either. So there you go. I do knit quite a bit, but I have now restarted it because the yarn I'm using is um, normally about $10 a 50 gram ball. And I picked absolutely a heap up in this color for $2 a ball. So I was so disappointed. I just pulled off the needles, threw it to one side and started again. And I've been extremely careful to keep an eye on my stitch count and use the stitch markers. So yes, no matter how good you are, never ever think you know how your stitch count is going. Check it sooner than I did. I just decided it was too hard. I hadn't put in a lifeline and it was too hard to go back and try and rescue it. So, because I don't even know where I lost track of the, the stitches. Rookie knitting mistake. <laughs> so guys, that's about it for me for this week. Um, I haven't really made a lot. Work's still pretty busy. But I hope you enjoy what I have made. Let me know what you think of my two new tea cozies, my the lovely pillowcases. Just leave some nice comments below. Um, they help me get through the week when I'm busy. And it's nice to have a bit of a break and read what people put. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and don't forget to be inspired by a project from a picture. Bye for now.